On this Memorial Day, one man reflects on the greatest honor he says he will ever receive. What the president does on Memorial Day, this local man can say he also did to remember the sacrifices of our service men and women. Matt Markham spoke to him today, and Matt, he's a vet himself. Yeah, Liz, an Air Force veteran who took the flight to Arlington National Cemetery to take part in something he never expected he would. John LeClaire has uh, met a lot of people in 79 years. This honor was for those he served with and others he never met. The Lord must have been shining on us because it was a beautiful day. Something like this Memorial Day, as John LeClaire recalls his trip to Arlington National Cemetery. Tears were in my eyes. Because thinking of all, because you're looking at all the little monuments. LeClaire served for four years in the Air Force during peacetime at Plattsburgh. I was an aircraft electrician. I worked on in bombers and refuelers and, jet, and uh, jets and uh, helicopters, anything that landed that needed to be repaired, we worked on. Reason! Oh! Memories he recalled when he got the call from his daughter working in Washington. She told him that he would lay the wreath at a ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknowns in the middle of May. The nonprofit called No Greater Love made it happen. That's all I am as a corporal. Never in the day, my dream that I'd ever be there. His family with him, standing before the place where lost soldiers are found in thought and prayer. LeClaire lives in Niskayuna with his wife, meanwhile, tending the yard and the bees out back. Flags fly outside his door on a Memorial Day, just a bit more special to LeClaire. I was honored, over honored, because I did it for all of my service brothers, every one of them that would never have that opportunity to do it. Well, the ceremony for which LeClaire laid the wreath remembered sailors killed in 1987 on the USS Stark, which was attacked in the Persian Gulf. Live in the newsroom, I'm Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. Liz?